in the middle of the world is located a country with four worlds, coast, Andean highlands, Amazon jungle, and the Galapagos Islands. Everything in the same place, so near each other. Ecuador is the country with the greatest mega diversity in the world per square meter. Ecuador has achieved great changes in the last eight years. Today, it is a nation that is politically stable, that offers a solid economy, clear guidelines for investment, a growing tourism sector, and hundreds of opportunities. During the last five years, Ecuador has been one of the most dynamic countries in Latin America. In 10 years, the middle class has doubled in size. Public investment made by the Ecuadorian government is reflected in 12 renovated airports and three new international airports. Eight hydroelectric projects will double the energy capacity in the entire country, benefiting industry with low-cost, clean and renewable energy. 7,261 kilometers of renovated and safe roads, shortened distances, connecting cities, ports and airports. The most important maritime ports of Ecuador operate in Guayaquil and Manta, fundamental hubs for the development of foreign trade and the arrival of international cruise ships. In the last two years, all of this has allowed Ecuador to become the country which has moved up the most on the global index of competitiveness. Tourism is a priority for the Ecuadorian government as a state policy. The cruise train, a jewel of the past and the present, reflects the importance that the national government is giving to tourism. Successful international campaigns have generated results and prizes. Among them, the most recent one, the best tourism video of the Americas given by the World Tourism Organization. In 2014, all of this investment generated an increase in international tourists growing three times faster than the world average. Currently, more than 30 touristic projects are being developed in the country, reaching amounts over $1.5 billion. Hotel del Parque is Guayaquil's first boutique hotel, but it's being constructed in a historical site, which is property of the Ecuadorian government. This hotel is the result of a public-private sector alliance, where the government of Ecuador is financing the structural construction, and the Oro Verde Group will be equipping it with furniture, fixtures and equipment, and um, this could not have happened, this alliance could not have happened without the support of the Secretary of Investment of the Ministry of Tourism. We are very, very happy with the, uh, with the way uh, the hotel is coming out. We've had a lot of support from the Ministry of Tourism. Uh, they've helped us with uh, uh, importation of um, goods that are specific to the, uh, to the brand uh, and specific to the industry. And then we're, um, we're also um, are very happy with them in, t in the sense that they've kept a, an open door policy. We always come to them for help and then they've been able to uh, expedite our permitting process and, and help us uh, get the stuff done in time and um, on budget. The reasons for investing in the sector tourism is the great development that it has. The impulse that the government gives through the Ministry of Tourism and various institutions. The zona de la costa es uno de los tesoros mejores guardados en el área turística. Yo pienso que hay campo para la inversión. El turismo es el camino que el gobierno está apoyando y nosotros hemos sentido ese apoyo. La oportunidad de desarrollar un hotel en las inmediaciones del nuevo aeropuerto de Quito conjuntamente con las tasas de crecimiento del turismo en el Ecuador fue bien visto para la cadena de hoteles de Eurovilli para la construcción de su primer hotel en el Ecuador. La belleza natural de nuestro país, la construcción de los sistemas viales, las nominaciones turísticas de Quito y el Ecuador, son razones fundamentales para que nuestros inversionistas hayan pensado en ampliar sus inversiones en Ecuador. Clear investment guidelines. The organic code of production, employment and competitiveness provides equal rights for domestic and foreign investors and a range of tax incentives such as a five-year exemption from payment of income tax and an additional deduction for depreciation, an investment contract that gives stability to the investor. The Ministry of Tourism, through the program Invest for Our Tourism, guides the entrepreneur and makes available its investor service center with reliable business data that is constantly updated by its specialized professionals.